Hey everybody, this is Erica Sabo. Welcome back to another one of my weekly vlogs. Let's see what's been going on this week. It's so nice to be able to talk to all of you. I am uh, I'm really sorry for the radio silence. There's been a ton going on, uh, as usual, as you can imagine, but a lot of more uh, stressful things. Actually, stressful things have been taking up a very big portion of my life, but uh, I think I'm starting to establish some closure in everything I'm doing, and I just put together my new room. Like, I still live in the same apartment, but I moved to the second bedroom, and maybe I'll give you a room tour. Who knows, right? But I'm, like, really happy. I'm, like, beaming because of all these changes that obviously needed to happen. So, uh, with that out of the way, uh, in terms of gaming, there's, uh, there's some pretty neat stuff I want to tell you guys. So, I have some uh some stuff I wanted to show you um for one I uh this is official now is I am being sponsored by Iceman Video Games the company that I work for um to do just really really awesome quality uh videos like in terms of video games so I'll be doing current gen and retro games uh, in the Iceman uh, location, in Queen West, maybe in uh, in Kensington, but probably just Queen West location. That's 634 Queen West by Queen of Bathurst, if you haven't checked that out already, and you live in the city. So everything review-wise, video game-wise, is going to be filmed there now, and there's going to be like a whole camera crew apparently too, which is crazy to think about. So this is going to be like this is going to be pretty crazy stuff. I was not anticipating something like this. Well, I was to an extent, but not to this extent at the same time. So, uh, in return, I'm going to be getting a bunch of games. So, the first game that I got was Drakengard 3! I actually got the game! Yeah! I've been wanting to play this. Actually, I haven't played any of the Drakengard games, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> But uh, I've been wanting this one for so long, and uh, yeah, right now I am just working on how I'm going to put together this show. It's probably going to be a once a month thing. It's not just going to be me doing the review, it's going to be me uh, probably talking about like new releases or things that are going on in the industry at this time, uh, and that'll be covering all different genres, not just JRPGs, but things that I really care about. So I have a lot of that sort of creative freedom that I was always hoping for, so I'm super stoked and I'm putting together an outline and everything right now. I am just very happy. I'm very, very, very happy. Aside from that, I have returned to my love. Persona 4 Golden. I have returned. Uh, it's yeah, I had to put it down for a little bit because I got really busy, but things are finally, finally, finally starting to uh, open up a bit more now. Uh, now that I'm not away and now that things aren't as crazy, crazy like they were before. So, you know, there's that. There is that. Uh, in other news, I also want to talk about what an amazing time I had at Super Audio Land 2. That is. Uh, this really great music series, like game themed music series by the Con Bravo crew. Uh, I'm going to be going to Con Bravo in July and I'm super excited and I'm really glad that they're doing this kind of preliminary event stuff just to to further boost, uh, further boost the con. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to it and I had an amazing, amazing time. It was at Lee's Palace this time, last time it was at uh, El Elmo, uh, which is a really, really cool venue here in the city too. Lee's Palace as well. I love Lee's Palace. It's really intimate. It's just one of my favorites. So uh, we ended up getting to see uh, Devs and Errol, Epic Game Music, uh, Copyright Leader, and Spruik, and it was just so good. It was probably one of the most fun nights I've had in a while. So I'm really glad I could make it to that and I want to give all of those musicians a big big thank you and a big hug for being as talented, as creatively driven, as passionate as they are. I, uh, there's something about that, uh, that energy that flows from people like that, that really, it gets me. It gets me, you know, when you're also a really creatively driven person, it just, it kind of blends together and it turns into this beautiful thing and who knows, who knows what could come from it? Who knows what kind of inspiration can come from something like that? So that's, 
that that excites me always excites me I think the last thing in terms of gaming is E3 E3 is happening this week and I'm going to be doing coverage for uh, a blog I don't write so much for anymore I used to do my retro video game review series retro renegade on there uh, and then just current gen news and things like that but I don't really write there so much anymore and that is eggplant because I'm a kind of retired um, to an extent from writing I kind of burn myself out and so I want to focus more on YouTube to, which has been awesome. It's been great. Uh, but I do want to help out my friend Chris as well. So I'm going to be doing some written coverage for E3 this year and I'm sure that in this next weekly vlog coming up I'm going to be talking about a bunch of things and on Twitter and on Facebook I'll be talking about a bunch of things as well. So please stay tuned for that and let me know what you are excited for this E3 because I'm really interested in hearing what you think. There are plenty on my list I am looking forward to. Whether we are talking about games like Beyond Good and Evil 2, Mirror's Edge 2, Destiny, Persona 5, Q, uh, Dancing All Night, uh, Arena Ultimax, Tales of Zestiria, there is a bunch of indie games, so many games, so, 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 so many games, and I am so looking forward to it. I cannot wait, so I can't wait to share all that with you. Now in terms of anime, things have been a little bit on the lighter side. As I've mentioned before, I tend to, to uh, go back and forth on these sort of things. I'm not very good at doing them all at once, which I don't think you can really blame me for. But uh, one thing I did end up getting was a Baccarano box set. Yes! I'm so happy. Now you guys know I talked about this, I gushed about this anime several times now. I'm a big fan, big, big, big fan, and I'm really happy that I could find this. It's probably not real, but I don't care. I'm happy with it, and I, I needed it in my collection. When there's a series that I really love, uh, I test out the waters usually. I just watch it online, and then if I like it enough, then I'll offer my support in whatever shape or form I can. And, mm, you know, I'm just happy to have it. I'm happy to be able to promote this because it's just so freaking cool. It's so freaking cool. And I can't wait to do my review of it too. I really want to do that soon. So yeah, that's actually it in terms of anime, I think. But this is a big one. This is a good one. You definitely need to check it out. So in terms of YouTube and life, uh, catch up. It's all catch up. Uh, first off, I want to apologize, like big, 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 big apologies to everybody for not sending out the prizes yet. Um, the prizes are here. They're actually like all right in front of me. I have everything packed separately for each person with their little sticky note names on them and their address. And it's so nicely done. Um, but I need to get money for shipping first. So I, uh, I just... I just spent a lot of money. I, I had to kind of prioritize with this. Not that I don't want you guys to be a priority, but I was sleeping on a couch for um, like one and a half, two weeks, which was not very good. And I had insomnia for a while. So I actually had to go to Ikea, got myself a bed, I got myself a clothing rack, and you know, all that stuff is pretty expensive. So the money that was supposed to go towards shipping has gone to furniture that I did not think I was going to have to buy. So woo, fun times. That's life for you though, you know, and taking responsibility for your life. And now I have to take responsibility for sending out all these cool prizes to you all. So this is going to happen very soon and I will update you all and thank you so much for your patience. Uh, know that I care about you guys a lot, like a lot, a lot. I wouldn't be doing this kind of stuff if I didn't care about all of you so much. Uh, so uh, yeah, just some patience. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, in other news, like my first stream happened last week and it was amazing. I had such a great time and I had some friends show up. I'm really happy that Nick and Ari in particular could show up and I'm happy that my friend Alicia could offer her moral support and that Kagero could be, you know, part of ca the cat cam and it was so good. I had such a fun time. Uh, it was definitely very delayed and I felt really bad, especially when I was watching the video afterwards and then I'm like, oh my god, I missed all these questions, but there's just so much lag going on. So I think that for the next stream I do, which is maybe just going to be like a little hangout session where we can do it for like three, three and a half hours uh, on Twitch and we can just chill out and talk and shoot the shit and you can ask questions or you can just you know, if you just want to talk, we can talk. I can tell stories all night if I wanted, so I'm probably going to. Uh, but yeah, so keep in mind that is going to be happening every single month. I'll probably do it like the last Sunday of every month or something like that. I'm going to be doing a, a live stream because I just had so much fun. So, 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 so much fun. And yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be so, so, so good. Uh, 
Aside from that, in terms of YouTube shoutouts, I'm just going to give a shout out to everybody who was able to make it to the stream. I haven't had enough time to really check out other YouTubers uh, at this point because I've had to deal with things in my own life at this, at, at this moment. But uh, I just want to thank everybody for making out. And if, even if you couldn't, if you later on went and watched it, that's cool too because I know time zones can be killer. And I know that me starting something like this at 10 p.m. Eastern doesn't always work for you in your time zone. So I totally understand that, but uh, I do appreciate everybody who came out and I appreciate everybody who came out afterwards as well and just for being amazing and being so supportive and making my dreams come true. Making my dreams come true. Like I just reached 800 likes on my Facebook fan page. I am, uh, you know, considering how few videos, because I'm like two videos behind right now, uh, considering how many, how few videos I was releasing last week, I'm really surprised by how high my, subscri my subscriber rate has gone up. Like I was just at like 6,500 subscribers just a little bit ago. And now I'm already like well past 6,700, very close to 6,800, which is just crazy. It's just so crazy. You know, like I can't believe I'm almost at 7K. This is gonna be wicked. So, so, so wicked. Uh, and then I can say the same about my Twitter as well, where I am almost at 2,800 or something um, followers, which is just. It's crazy. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do except, you know, talk to you guys through a camera about how embarrassed this all makes me. <laughs> but that's all good. That's all good. This is the, you know, this is this is me. This, this is like my personal diary. I get to tell you guys all the things that I, I that are happening that I just don't really know how to comprehend. So that's what weekly vlogs are for, huh? Uh, but you know, I mean, it's not just about the weekly vlogs. Like, there's going to be a lot of really cool stuff. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a review for Baccarano, um, and all kinds of things. My uh, one of my other friends. Um, suggested I do like my favorite anime openers which I'm probably going to do and a lot of things there's just a lot I'm trying to space things out a bit more now so I don't not like I won't not like I'll burn myself out but I want to offer some more variety uh, so that's going to happen and a lot of cool things are gonna happen uh, I did want to give one patreon shout out to Connor Dean However, I do want to say thank you so much for pledging to my campaign. That means the world to me. It really does. And I appreciate everybody who is able to pledge to my Patreon campaign. Keep in mind, I am going to be doing a lot of updates on my Patreon, a big makeover uh, in the next couple weeks or so. I'm going to be adding new bonuses for pledgers. That will include live streaming now that I'm used to live streaming and I know what it's like and I'm just I'm having fun with it, right? So I'm going to be doing a lot more of that because I realize how much fun it is and it makes having my campaign that much more fun too so i really hope you can join me and i really hope you can help support me with that once the time comes but yeah i think that is it so i hope you all have an amazing week and i hope you get to enjoy e3 and you aren't too disappointed by things and that you're super happy about other things and that we get to have an awesome time talking to each other that'd be really cool really really awesome i would love to catch up on youtube more and to be able to reply more to comments soon and i just want things to go back to the way they were. I just want I just want everything to be back the way it was because I miss it and I don't like being behind and so it's just so much so much to deal with but this is my first love. I love doing this so much for all of you. I love being this messenger. I love being this uh, just being me. You know, uh, it's so, so great, and I love learning so much about all of you. I, uh, I really, really, really hope you have an amazing week, and I'll catch you guys later. Okay, all right, peace.